Welcome to this new video. This video is regarding an use case that is how come blank is coming in the slicer. So when you select the product from this product table, a blank is coming and blank is showing in the slicer. How you can remove the blank or why this blank is coming? That is the main question. So we can go to the details and we can see here we have a product table and which is having four products and we have a fact table that is having lots of sales ID and with respect to the product, the sales are being sold and we are taking this product table to the slicer and here but the problem is we are getting the blank in the product table so why it has been happening like that so where we need to check all these things? so that is the thing which we are going to product or we have the sales total here and with respect to the product we need to change the total but since we are having the blank it is impossible to understand what is the analysis of the bit recording with the product. So we need to change this blank and we need to know how this blank came. So we will check it. We are having these two tables, product and sales. We will go to the another page and we will select the product here. We are selecting the product name and we are selecting the product description here. So we have, we can see you have three, four products here. So for example, we can get the product name here and we can count it. We can just select this and you can give it to count distinct. So we can see we have four products here, count of the product name here. And now we will take the fact table, that is a sales table, and we will select the sales ID, product, quantity, price, and total. And here the problem is sales ID is not coming properly, so don't summarize. So now we have the sales ID and the quantity of the products and we need to see why this problem occurs. And here, of course, uh, we are going to keep the product name. See the blank is coming here. And here what we will give is the total. This is a total and we have four products. So first we will check how many products are there in this fact table. So we can select the product in the fact table and we can change it to change from don't summarize to count this. See the problem here is here. Here the count of products in the dimension table is four and we are taking the dimension table. But since it has been modeled and it has been related to the fact table, the problem in fact table is that the uh, product count is four. So one new product is added to the fact table right now. So usually that happens in the modeling process or from where you're getting the source, because if you are getting the source from a reliable database, obviously, it should not happen because normalization should be done. So if normalization does take out all these things and everything will become proper. So since that was not done, now the problem comes in our hands. So if you take the model, so we are linking both the table or we are having the relationship with both the table using the product name. And here we have four products and here we have five. Somebody has added one more product here. Usually if it is normalization, you can't add like, add like first you need to add the product in the product table. Then you have to obviously add that product with the sales in the sales table. Because of not normalization, we are getting the error in the visualization. So this is the difference between or this is the reason why a blank is coming here. So if you do one thing, you can go to the filters, you can take the product from the fact to the filter and you can see which one, which of the, which of the product is not there or which of the product is added. So how you can check it is you can just go here and you can change it to don't summarize. Go here, change it to don't summarize and which product has been added. So we can see all these are dogs name, dogs breed. So we have four here. This, this product is added extra in the fact table. Now, if you want, you can go to the fact table and you can check, take out this product, but then the analysis won't become proper because with the addition of that product, we are getting this and their sales. So if you are going to take out this product, then the sale, it will affect the sales. But at the same time, you are not good, you are not getting the product here. Also. So you won't be able to analyze. If you want to bring the product here, you need to go to the transform data. And here you need to do the cleaning or you need to shape the data properly. So we have four data here. We need to add the fifth data. We need to add the fifth row from this sales. How you can add this fifth data from the sales? You can select this product table. You can merge. You can use the merge queries. And here you need to do the operation properly because you need to select the product name from the product table. You need to get the sales from the sale and product name from the sales table. Here the problem is if you are going to use the left join here, left outer join, it will select the first table that 
that is a product name and it will check it with the right table that is the second table and you will only get these four products the other one will be shown as now and take, take the example of this because here we can see the selection matches four out of four so when we do this this is the wrong procedure what we are doing when we do this we need just the product name so we are getting the product only and if you select the if you do the here if you do the remove duplicates still we are getting the four tables we are not getting anything new so you need to clear out all these steps and you need to select once again merge queries and here this is the first product first table we are getting and we need to get the second product and product name and the product name from the second table now here we are going to use the right that means it will select this table first and this table second in the case of left join so here the thing what it does is it will check the second table first it will give importance to the second table and with respect to the second table it will check the first one and if the it will take all the data from the second table and it will use the relationship from the first table so we need the second table because in the second table only we are having the data so now we will use okay and see one more row is added here and that is the one which we were missing in the product table now you can select this and remove everything and get the product name only and this product name you saw it got added we can do one thing we can go here remove the duplicates so all the duplicates got removed here now we can select here and remove this column and we got the exact column here one you can move it here and here we can rename it as product or the name was product name so we got this and of course the product description will be enough but what we had is we got the five rows now we can close and apply now we can see what change has been happening here so you go you saw is under the blank went out and the new name came here so now everything became properly proper now we got product table it is not uh, yeah here we have given the filter here so we will remove the filter and all so we got the product table here with 5 and 5 here also everything got 5 now the count of this uh, product is product is 5 and the count of the fact is also 5 so basically what happened was the dimension table we had four products and in the fact table we were having five products that is why one blank came here and to clean that you need to go to the transform data and you need to merge the fact table to the dimension table and add that extra row to the dimension table and you can solve the issue now we have solved the issue and we can see here how it has been changing so this is the uh, one which got added and we have the description here earlier this was not happening in this table so this is the reason and this is how we can overcome the problem statement so hope it was a valuable one have a nice day